If you're a beginner or if you're just looking for easy characters to play and that can give you great results when you're playing against other people, these are the top 5 easiest characters for you to play and learn in new MVC3. Number 5. Wolverine. If you like being aggressive, then Wolverine is one of the best picks for you. The game plan with him is always going to be getting close to your opponent at all costs, and he's got great normals and specials to do that. His Berserker Slash move is a great way to dash towards your opponent while attacking at the same time. This move will not only help you be close to your opponent, but it can also lead into cross-ups, which can be very hard for your opponent to block. The most effective way to use it is by having an assist to back you up. Assists that cover the horizontal area like Plasma Beam or Uno Beam are great to allow you to do that without having to worry about being punished for using the move. In case you get the hit, you can get a full combo for free, and in case your opponent block, you still have the turn for yourself. In case you're out of assists already, you can always go for the Berserker Charge Super, which will allow you to continue the combo or to make yourself safe in case that whiffs or in case your opponent block it. But remember that you're gonna have to spend a bar to do that. His Dive Kick is another great move that he has access to and that has some great priority. It comes out very fast, it grants you a full combo on most situations if the opponent is on the ground or in the air, and Wolverine recovers quite fast from it, so it's gonna be hard for you to get punished for using it unless you're too reckless. It also gives Wolverine an easy way to convert from jump and super jump heights. For you to easily convert into a full combo, all you gotta do is hit a jumping normal, like jumping heavy for example, cancel into Drill Claw, and then after Drill Claw using the Dive Kick, which will bring the opponent down for Wolverine to continue the combo. This is a great way to catch people that are trying to escape your pressure by jumping or super jumping out. In terms of combos, all you really need with Wolverine is his basic BNB. It's extremely easy to do even for those who don't have a good execution and it does a fairly good amount of damage. If you get a hit on the ground, just launch the opponent, put them back down using Drill Claw into Dive Kick, then launch them again, put them back down, call assist and go into super. In case you don't have assist to back you up anymore, you can always just finish the combo in the air by going into fatal claw. In terms of assist to help him, again, I recommend you have at least one good horizontal assist to allow him to go for berserker slashes in neutral, and at least one good assist to help him finish the combos on the ground and convert combos out of throws. My top pick assist for him would be Dr. Doom's Plasma Beam or Iron Man's Unibeam, since both of them can be used for his neutral game and also to extend his combos. Number 4. Captain America Captain America gives you the possibility of playing both aggressively or defensively. Captain America's shield slashes are great for controlling the neutral since they cover a good portion of the screen. In case they hit the opponent, you have a high chance of getting a full combo out of it. In case the opponent blocks, it still does cheap damage, so it's a win-win for Captain America. You can just back off and keep throwing the shields and wait for the opponent to make a mistake and get hit by one of those, or in case the opponent is trying to evade your shields, you can use that to push the opponent into the corner where you are gonna have control and a better position. Another great special that he has access to is the Charging Star. It has great priority and also some projectile invincibility in the first frames, so it's usually going to beat anything that your opponent does. Since this move comes out extremely fast, it's great for you to get out of pressure in case you're cornered and also to start your own pressure in case you want to get in fast. Just like Wolverine, Captain America can really use some horizontal assists that will help protect him in case the Charging Star whiffs or in case your opponent blocks it, Plus, it will also give you a full combo for free depending on how you use it. His combos are also very simple to pull off and even his basic PNBs can do great damage. In case you get ahead, all you do is launch the opponent, put him back down and then use the shield slash OTG to pick them up again, put them up, put them back down, use the shield into super. In the corner, since you're not going to be able to relaunch alone, you can simply add an assist to help you after the first shield slash OTG. Captain America also has very easy mix-ups using his cartwheel move. By calling an assist and using the cartwheel move, you get access to a very strong side switch, which can easily open your opponent's defense up. In terms of assist, in case you're a more aggressive player, I recommend you have horizontal assist that will help you use the charging star safely and to give you full combos in case you hit them with charging star. If you like to play more defensively, I recommend assist that will help Captain America throw his shield from far away without having to worry about being punished for it. My top assist for aggressiveness would be Doctor Strange's Bolts of Fall Pack, Freeze Machine Gun, Doctor Doom's Plasma Beam, and Iron Man's Unibeam. All these assists will help him with the Charging Star, plus they can all be used for his combos. 
My top assists for those defensive players are Nova's Gravmetric Pulse, Doctor Strange's Eye of Agamotto, and Strider Hero's Vajra. All of them are gonna be great for those who like to keep away from shields, plus all of these assists will help Captain America extend combos too. Before we continue, I just wanna remind you to leave me a thumbs up to support my work if you're enjoying this video, and also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to receive more content like this. Number 3. Wesker. Wesker is one of the most solid characters in the game. He's got access to lots of damage, he moves fast, he's got teleports, command grabs, counters, and even a gunshot. The gunshot may not look like much, but the angle that it covers is just perfect for Wesker to back off, or even for him to approach. If the opponent is pursuing you, jumping back and shooting diagonal down might hit the opponent and even give you a full combo in case he jumps. You can also just shoot straight forward, which is another great option for Sony, and you can also super jump and shoot that bullet on a full screen distance away right at your opponent. The best part of it though is that you can cancel the bullet shot into a teleport. This can lead into some great pressure opportunities, especially if you have an assist there. If you teleport forward up, you can do a cross overhead, whereas if you just teleport forward, you can do a cross into low. If you're a little bit away from your opponent, it can also be a good way for you to approach and get close. The backward teleport can also be a very good resource for Wesker, especially when you want to get away. The game plan with Wesker is gonna be trying to use his movement and teleports to find a hit and go for full combos, since his damage is very high. Even the most basic combos can do a ton of damage, especially if you're able to put the opponent in the center of the screen where Phantom Dance will deal the most amount of damage. If you have a good assist to back you up, the simple relaunch combos will already be great. You're gonna hit the opponent, launch them, put them back down. You're gonna call the assist, do the gunshot OTG, the assist will hit, and after that you just gotta throw the opponent back up and end in super. If you can find a way to put them in the center of the screen as I mentioned earlier, even better. Usually a good way to do it is by using his wall bounce move, which can work very well on the corner or mid screen. If you're out of assist, a good way to do a solo combo would be getting the hit, using the palm move, then you can either teleport or dash to get to your opponent time, if you're in the corner you won't even need to do that, then you do the OTG gunshot, go for light, medium, heavy into the palm, wall bounce palm, and then you just launch the opponent, hit them in the air and go to super. In case you want to do more damage, instead of going for the super in the air, you can just put them back down on the ground, do the gunshot again and then use a team hyper combo. It's quite easy to go for the level 3 mid combo as well, since after the wall bounce attack, you can just go for heavy into level 3. In case you're interested in Wesker combos, I'm gonna leave a card up here for my Wesker solo combos video, where you can see some cool ideas of how to combo in with Wesker. Another information that's worth mentioning is the fact that Wesker gets stronger and faster when you take off his glasses. To remove the glasses, you can either get beat up or you can use the Phantom Dance Super. By using Wesker, you're also gonna have access to one of the best OTG assists in the game, which is the Gunshot Assist. It can be quite helpful for those who are just starting out of the game, because this assist can help literally any character in the game to extend combos. He's also a great pick for your anchor position, which is the third and last character in your team, His Wesker goes very well with X-Factor. In case you get a hit with X-Factor level 3 Wesker, it's guaranteed kill on any character assists with no hitstun deterioration to help extend his combos, and that could also hit the opponent while Wesker is teleporting, keep the opponent on the combo long enough for Wesker to recover from the teleport and get the confirm, are the best choices for him. My top pick assists for Wesker would be Nemesis Clothesline, the pink one, Rocket Launcher, the blue one, Spencer's Up Grapple Assist, the green one, Rocket Raccoon's Lock Trap, the blue assist, or Doctor Strange's Bolt of Bolt Hack, the blue assist. Number 2. Nova Nova is a top tier character that I would consider to be low effort, high reward. He's one of the best characters in the game to open your opponent's defense up, considering all the resources that he has at his disposal. He's got a far reaching low with his crouching medium and his centurion rush light, instant overhead with his forward H or by jumping and dashing down with his jumping light, a convertible throw for literally any situation, ground throw forward and back, jump height forward and back, super jump height forward and back, if you get a throw with Nova you can convert alone without the need of assistance. And the best part is, in case you get a hit with Nova, which is fairly simple considering all I just said, the combos are not hard to execute. They're very easy and even the most basic Nova combos deal a good amount of damage. He's not the best character when it comes to damage because he doesn't have a level 3, so he's probably not gonna be able to kill any character when you get a hit with him. 
but you can fix that by DHCing or by resetting, which honestly is not a problem for Nova since again he's so good at opening the opponent's defense up. He also has some reasonable zoning considering that he's got the Gravmatic Pulse Shield and the Energy Javelin. You can put a shield in front of you which will forbid the opponent to approach you unless he gets rid of the shield and you can just sit back and throw some energy javelins. In case the opponent blocks its cheap damage and in case he gets hit by it while he's in the air, it ground bounces so that can lead into a full combo. If you throw some assist in there to help you, you get the cheap damage of the assist, the cheap damage of energy javelin and the shield to keep them away. His mobility is also amazing since he can fly and air dash in all the 8 directions. Nova is usually used on point, but you can also make him work on anchor or even in the assist position. He's got one of the easiest stack infinites in the game, he gives you amazing assists, especially with the Craftmatic Pulse one, which you can use for combos and for protection, and he's got a safe way for you to DHC into the screen by using the Superman Super. Worth mentioning that that super goes through projectiles, so in case you're getting zoned out or if the opponent is using too many projectiles, you can just use that super, go through the projectiles, hit the opponent and even get a full combo after that. The game plan with Nova would be something like this. In terms of defense, you can just back off, put the shield, use the energy javelin to make the opponent stay grounded and have a good assist to deal some good cheap damage in the grounded opponent. This way you can do some good damage with your projectiles and at the same time protect yourself. In case your opponent has great projectiles and is able to break your shield all the time and doesn't let you start your game, you can just go into Superman Super, break his projectiles and get a full combo. In terms of offense, Nova has many great ways to try and get in. One of his best options is to jump, air dash forward and use his jump in H. This tactic is so good because his jump in H has a lot of priority and hitbox, so it covers a big area and has good potential for crossing up. But at the same time, if you hold forward while you're doing the air dash forward, in case the opponent tries to jump, the jumping age will turn into a grab. This is called the option select, where in case the opponent jumps, you get the grab. If he doesn't, you get the jumping age, which will attack the opponent and has the potential to open his defense. Another great option is to just dash and go for his crouching medium, since the opponent usually doesn't expect to get hit low from such a big distance. The same thing works in case you want to use the Centurion Rush Light. Another great move that you can use from far away is his Human Rocket Punch H. That attack travels pretty much the entire screen, and in case you get a hit, it will either crumple stun the opponent if he's grounded or wall bounce in case he's in the air. Both situations you get a full combo for yourself. The best assist for Nova would be the ones that make the opponent block and cover his approach so that Nova can get in. My top assists for Nova would be Sentinel Drones, Pink Assist, Doctor Strange's Bolts of Bolt Pack, Blue Assist, Amaterasu's Cold Star, Green Assist, Doctor Doom's Plasma Beam, Pink Assist, and Modoc's Psionic Blaster, Blue Assist. Before I reveal my number one pick, I just want to let you know that I do coaching for you in VC Dream. I know how to play with every single character in the game now, so no matter the team you want to learn, I believe I can help you. In case you're interested in having someone teaching you, make sure to join my Discord server and send me a message on private. The link is on the description and in the comment section. Number one, the Hulk. The reason why Hulk is the number one here in this list is because he can do the most amount of damage with the least amount of effort. It's so ridiculous that even the most basic combo ever, which is to get the person on the ground, launch them in the air, put in the back down and using super, already does more than 600k damage. If you get two hits like that in the match, you can kill literally any character including Thor. And things get even more absurd if you got an assist to help extend the combos. If you find a way to relaunch the opponent using some multi-G assist or something like that, you will surpass the 900k mark. Just using one bar. You don't need any execution to do that, it's very simple. And you can always DHC after Hulk to keep going for damage and I mean you can kill literally any character if you get a hit with Hulk. Not only his damage is ridiculous, but also his armor. He's got armor on his 10 h and also in his Gamma Charge move. The opponent has to be very careful because when you use those moves, usually you are gonna be the one in advantage. The standing H here works just like Nova. You can try to get close to your opponent and hold forward or back while doing your standing H and you can either get a grab or the standing H to come out. Since Hulk has great hitbox on this move and since it has armor, if the opponent is not in range for you to grab or if he tries to jump out of your grab, you still get the standing H to hit the opponent. 
If he presses anything, it will very likely lose since Hulk has armor in that move and you get yourself a full combo. If he stays grounded, you still get control for yourself. A win-win for Hulk. The Gamma Charge move is another great option that he has since it pushes Hulk forward towards the opponent. After using the Gamma Charge, you have the possibility of going for one more charge. It can be either forward, up or back. In case your opponent blocked, you can just go back and you should be safe most of the time. In case you get the hit, you can choose to go forward for more damage and cancel into super. If you throw an assist there, even better, you might even turn this into a full combo. If you feel like you might get punished for using one of those moves unsafely, you can always cancel into the Gamma Crush Super, which is completely invincible from start until Hulk is done with the Meteor. This is great not only to punish those who try to punish you, but also to put the fear in the opponent, since he's gonna be afraid of trying anything since you can just cancel into Gamma Crush. Hulk has some gaps where he can be punished for using the Standing Age or even the Gamma Charge move as I said before, but those gaps are quite small, so not everyone or every character will be able to take advantage of that. If you play on the regular netcode of the game, this is even worse for the opponents since it's gonna be harder for them to punish you considering that there is delay involved. If it's already kinda hard to find the timing to punish Hulk offline, imagine on laggy conditions. You can simply abuse Hulk's armor online and believe me, you're gonna be very successful. Another important thing with Hulk is that he got the second biggest HP in the game, only after Thor. This means that if you're a beginner or if you're looking for an easy character to learn and you're still not entirely familiar with the game, you're not just gonna get hit and die with him. He's also not completely hopeless and far away since he's got the Gamma Wave projectile. You obviously just want to get into your opponent's face, but in case you're being zoned out and he's feeling confident, you can always throw one of those to show that Hulk's got something too. The game plan with Hulk is... Standing Age. No, but serious now. The game plan with Hulk is usually gonna be having a good assist to help him start his pressure. Assist that will help him use the Gamma Charge safely, assist that will help him get close so that he can do his insane armor pressure. Hulk doesn't have as many great ways to open the opponent's defense up like Nova, but he doesn't even need that. All you need is to approach and pressure the opponent until he gets scared and press a button or make a mistake, and Hulk's armor will come in play and give you the hit. If you notice that the opponent doesn't press a lot of buttons and is very respectful, you can always go for his low, you can try to grab him in case he jumps too much, which can lead into a full combo in case you have a good assist to extend it. You can use his command grab, which is not the best option in case you're looking for full combos, but even if you can't execute the full combo out of that command grab, you can always just go for super after it and it will already be a good chunk of damage. So Hulk does have some options in case your opponent really blocks a lot, but always the idea is to abuse the armor. Usually the best assists for Hulk are gonna be the ones that hit the opponent after Hulk is done using his Gamma Charge. This way, in case the opponent blocks the Gamma Charge, he's gonna have to block the assist after Hulk is done with the Gamma Charge. So it's the cheap damage of the Gamma Charge, the cheap damage of the assist, and Hulk is safe to play his pressure and not get punished. In case you get the hit with the Gamma Charge, the assist will hit after Hulk is already done, so Hulk will be able to convert into a full combo. Assists that will help Hulk extend his combos are also gonna be crucial here, especially if they can also help him mid-screen. My top pick assists regarding the ability of helping Hulk use the Gamma Charge would be Sentinel Drones, Pink Assist, Rocket Raccoon's Double Shots, Pink Assist, and Arthur's Dagger Toss, the Green Assist, especially if you powered him up. My top pick assist to help Hulk extend combos, especially mid-scream, would be She-Hulk's OTG assist, the pink one, Deadpool's Katana Rama, the green one, and Wesker's Gunshot, the green assist. Hey you! Wanna get my coaching? Join my Discord server and send me a message on private, the links are on the description and comment section. If you want to request a team for me to play, make sure to check out my membership by clicking on the join button below or you can find the same offers in my Patreon. Links are on the description and comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later!